One important clinical question is how do you differentiate between type 1 respiratory failure and type 2 respiratory failure? For that, you need to understand what is type 1 respiratory failure and what is type 2 respiratory failure. Now, type 1 respiratory failure is that in which the levels of oxygen in the blood, that is arterial blood, is low. The levels of carbon dioxide are usually normal. So, all those conditions or respiratory disorders in which the level of arterial oxygen is low but the level of carbon dioxide is normal that we call as type 1 respiratory failure and that usually occurs in most of the respiratory tract infections the low respiratory tract infections like pneumonia it also occurs in acute severe asthma it can occur in pulmonary embolism it can occur in pulmonary edema and a few other respiratory disorders type 2 respiratory failure on the other hand is that type of respiratory failure in which the level of carbon dioxide in the blood is high. Now that might be associated with a normal or low oxygen levels, but the primary pathology is the, the level of carbon dioxide in the blood is high. Now this usually occurs either in late acute severe asthma when the child is tired because of increased work of breathing. It can also occur in adults in what we call chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. It also occurs in certain types of neuromuscular disorders in which the respiratory musculature is affected like guillain barre syndrome and it can also occur in like central hypoventilation syndrome in which there is obesity and the child has got a hypoventilation especially when he goes to sleep. So these are the few disorders in which the type 1 and the type 2 respiratory failure can occur. So remember in short type 1 respiratory failure is lower levels of oxygen in the arterial blood type 2 respiratory failure is elevated level of carbon dioxide in the blood. Hope that helps. Bye-bye.